Hey everyone, OpenAI recently launched ChatGPT, which has created buzz in the data science community over the internet. So in this video, I'll give you insights on what ChatGPT is and its working mechanism. I'll also cover a brief history of GPT architectures. So now overview of GPT family. The state of the art architecture for language models is transformers. The working of a transformer is no less than magic. So OpenAI came up with such transformer that is a generative pre-trained model popularly known as GPT. So GPT is developed in a self-supervised fashion and it has two phases. First one is unsupervised training. So it is used for developing the pre-trained model. So this phase includes training the model over a massive data set for predicting the next word in the sequence. It uses a multi-layer transformer decode for training the language model. So now the second step is supervised fine tuning. So it is used for to adapt the parameters of the pre-trained model obtained to a supervised target task. So OpenAI released three different versions of GPT. So that is GPT-1, GPT-2 and GPT-3 to make more human-like conversations. So the three versions of GPT differ in their size. So that is each version was trained by scaling up the data and parameters. So GPT-3 is referred to as an autoregressive model. So autoregressive model is a model that uses only past values to make the predictions. So GPT-3 can be used to develop huge applications like search engine, content creation and many more. But why GPT-3 failed to achieve human-like conversations? So why do we have like Instruct GPT developed again? So there are two primary reasons why GPT-3 failed. One of the problems with GPT-3 is that the model output is not aligned with the user instructions. So to put it in short, GPT-3 cannot generate a user preferred response. For example, given a prompt explain the moon landing to a six year old in a few sentences, GPT-3 generated the unwanted response. So the main reason behind such responses is that it's being trained to predict the next word in the sentence. So GPT-3 is not trained to generate the human preferred responses. Another problem is that it can generate unsafe and harmful comments as it does not have the control over the text. So in order to solve both of these problems, alignment and harmful comments, a new language model was trained that can address these challenges. We'll learn more about all these in the next session. So what is Instruct GPT? Instruct GPT is a language model that generates the response the user wants with an intent to safer communication. Hence, it is known as language model aligned with the following instructions. It uses a learning algorithm called reinforcement learning from human feedback that is RLHF to generate safer responses. Reinforcement learning from human feedback is a deep reinforcement learning technique that takes into account human feedback for learning. So the learning algorithm is controlled by human experts by providing the most likely human responses from the list of responses generated by the model. This way, the agent mimics safe and truthful responses. Here, we train the agent to learn the reward function based on human feedback. This way, the agent can learn reward function and understand the environment's complex behaviors. But why and what is ChatGPT now? So ChatGPT is now a bus in the data science field. It is simply a chatbot that mimics the human conversation. It can answer any question given to it. For example, given a prompt like code for decision tree, the ChatGPT responded with the implementation of decision tree in Python. That's the power of ChatGPT. We'll look at more hilarious examples at the end of the video. So OpenAI says ChatGPT is a sibling model to instruct GPT, which is trained to follow an instruction in a prompt and give in a detailed response. It is modified version of the instruct GPT with a change in the model training process. It can remember the conversation that happened earlier and then respond accordingly. Now let's see how this instruct GPT sibling model that is ChatGPT is different from it. Even after a thorough training of the model using RLHF, Instruct GPT is not fully aligned and thus is still toxic. Chat GPT is developed by making a small change in the data collection step. So now, training of the Chat GPT. Okay, so now let me explain how the Chat GPT was trained. So Chat GPT is trained again similar to Instruct GPT. That is in three phases. Let's understand the working of each phase. So the first phase is supervised fine tuning, SFT. So in this first step, we fine tune the GPT-3 on the data set containing a pair of prompts and relevant answers. The relevant answers are provided by the expert labeler. 
So the second phase is reward modeling that is RM. So here we try to learn the reward function that helps the agent to decide what is right and wrong and then move in the right direction of the goal. Reward function is learned through human feedback and thus it ensures the generation of the safe and truthful responses by agent. So here again are the steps involved in the second phase. So the first one is multiple responses are generated for the given prompt. So the second one is the human labeler compares the list of prompts generated by the model and ranks it from best to worst. So this data is then used to train the model. So the third phase is learning optimal policy. So in this phase, the environment is a banded environment that presents a random customer prompt and expects a response to the prompt. Given the prompt and response, it produces a reward determined by the reward model. So the RM is used as a reward function and fine tuning the SFT policy to maximize the reward using the PPO algorithm. So now we look at few of those prompts of ChatGPT. So this brings us to the end of this video. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel.